This podcast is rated R for restricted. Under 17 requires a company, parent, or adult guardian. Mission to 15. Welcome to the Mission 250 Filmcast, where we are watching the best movies ever made, I was once told. You can go to our website, mission250filmcast.com. We have our list frozen there. You can see what episodes are coming up next. I'm one of your hosts, Denny, and joining me are... John. And TC. John. Yeah. John. This week, we are watching number 123, which is the 1995 movie Al Pacino in the longest day ever. Two stars at the height of their power, Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock. The Heat? The Heat, right. The Heat. <laughs> pretty, pretty We've good. always wanted to see these two together. Yeah, you know. <laughs> this, yeah, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even in the mood, guys. <laughs> no, I know. I'm telling you, Come me on. Come on. Come yes. on. We're starting For the such podcast. a good movie, we're we got the fucking, I'm not in the mood yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, oh, God. Not that really? Good Come movie. on. Okay. What, okay. what? Here we go. Here okay. we go. Come okay. on. We're starting okay. the podcast. Okay. We're rolling. Okay. Okay. We're rolling. We're the podcast. This is the beginning. We're starting. It's happening right now. We got in our hearts. We wrote in our town. We said, hello. It's starting the podcast. What is that character? He's got energy. Yeah, John. I don't know, but I like it, John. Yeah. It's rare. Well, I think what I like to think of as myself as being an artist is what I do is spontaneously start yelling shit. I think right, that right, that's right, really right, what right, you right. do to show that you're into the work, you know? You're more of like a culture jammer than anything else. Right? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, just yeah, start yeah, yelling. Yeah, you know, yeah, people yeah. get hurt. but the, you Right know, in the middle just, of the square. Right in the right, middle of right, the road. Whatever, no big know, right deal. Over. And, you know, <laughs> as long as you're exuding a lot of energy, people. they can't at least yeah. blame you for yeah. that. You're not it trying. It shocks you know? people into awareness. Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, this week we are watching 1995 movie Heat, directed by Michael Mann. It's starring Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. The synopsis is a group of professional bank robbers start to feel the heat from police when they unknowingly leave a clue at their latest heist. I don't even know if that synopsis is true. <laughs> and this, they, this they left a clue? Is, You're right. Fair enough. Yeah. What fucking clue? We can talk about that. That's stupid. Good point. This week it is my turn to go first, and I'm sorry to say, guys. Are you sure you want to go know first? If because... state of my, no, I don't. Can I pass it off? No, no, you should go but, first. Oh, okay. You should go first. He doesn't but, like uh, it. No. Well, he's, I think he might just be in a bad mood in general. I'm not. No, well, actually, good. I was going to preface this sure? by saying, like, I am generally in a very good place right now. Okay. <laughs> and I'm actually in <laughs> a good mentally, mood. Not to brag so much. or nothing. But yeah. Yeah. Mentally, not so much. Yeah, well, but, like, I'm in a good mood, but, but I'm going to come across as being in a very, very angry towards this movie. Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? wow. Angry. Anger. Maybe we should have been. You would probably been happier watching How can you be angry at such a dumb movie? Exactly. How is it so stupid and on this list? <laughs> this movie is like the equivalent of a Nicolas Cage, The Rock. This is like The Rock, slightly yeah. more serious, but like Al Pacino is an equivalent to Nicolas Cage with his completely oh, ridiculous acting style. Yeah. Do you know like four people were injured uh, on the uh, during the making of this film? Or we're going straight to trivia. Like, reportedly, <laughs> because he startled them. Straight to the end. He was <laughs> no, wait. Al Pacino startled them with his acting? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just by, just his by you know, he's saying things that were <laughs> off script, you know. I mean, he'd be sitting in the chair and all of a sudden, like, give me what you got, give me what you ah! <laughs> She's got a great ass. Not, great like, ass. Knock your head on the boom yeah. mic, whatever happens. I'm sure, I'm sure people were injured because they just, all of a sudden, he just would, like, leap at them vocally. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was really bad, and I'd be surprised what you guys think. It was, I laughed. I mean, if it was supposed to be funny... It was, but I don't think it was I supposed it was to be. Supposed to, oh, I thought it was supposed to be funny. Oh. Really? No, no, no. This was a very serious This movie film. is like a grim as shit movie, it seems oh, like. Oh, man, yeah, that's yeah. so funny that you say that, because that's not how I took it. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> just laughing? Yeah. I mean, I was laughing a lot during this. Like, I liked this movie because I thought it was like a joke on purpose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize that I this was a serious movie. I don't think movie. so, dude. I, I mean, yeah, Michael Mann would be so upset with you. Yeah, oh, but at least somebody well, liked it. I don't know. I mean, I guess maybe I should hate this movie then because it clearly didn't hit me the right way. I thought I was sitting on my couch just bursting out laughing sometimes. <laughs> like, really? Like, they wrote that in? I love it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, dude. The balls some... on you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Killed walking your doggy. Good job, yeah, Al Pacino. That's a good, uh, it's a good line. Good take. Yeah, yep. good ad lib. Yep. I, I yep. wonder how much of his stuff. I'm sure most of that was ad libbed by him. I don't. I can't really imagine any of that being in an actual script. But uh, so he did ad lib a lot. But the problem with the trivia that's going to come up in this movie is that I don't trust Michael Mann at all in terms of him giving trivia because he's given kind of conflicting information. Uh, really, in the audio he's commentary not... in the interviews that he's done. Uh-huh. So 
a lot. I mean, pretty much every single thing we're going to go over is questionable. So I always hate when that happens because it seems pointless even knowing it. If it's, you know, you don't even know if it's That's not true. true. Well, but it's interesting to just address what's out there. Right. So, I mean, th- there's two parts of this movie that I think it's the reason why it's famous. There's obviously the central bank robbery scene, which goes on for like 20 minutes or something. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. I like that scene. Yeah. It's a 20 minute yeah. long scene that broke ground and was used in freaking army videos to train people on how to use guns, which is ridiculous. Right. But Arguably influenced some uh, later crimes that were committed. Maybe. Right. So that's not necessarily a good thing, but at least it's yeah, realistic. Yeah, right. I guess. Yeah, see, there you go. Um, but that's, that's 20 minutes in the center of a three hour long movie that is mostly a relationship drama. And I thought... I mean, the other, the, the sequence where they're uh, robbing the armed car was also pretty, yeah, I mean, the, that the was action one of two. sequences that was the one were, Some of the action yeah. was pretty good. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. It was really well done, I thought. Like, uh, the, the the way they would just show the, the amount of destruction that would happen, not in this over top, the top way, but like, you know, all the windows shattering and things like that with the Oh, on the, the cars? That one yeah, shot was actually yeah. pretty good. Yeah. 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 And they did some cool things to make that look realistic, and I have trivia on that. But, okay. Yeah. I mean, those are two scenes, like the first- when they, you know, smash the uh, the security car over and yeah. bomb it and take it, that was that was a pretty good scene. And then the, you know, the that whole robbery. that whole first sequence I thought was really well done. I like the the way that the editing and stuff where you just see them walking and coordinating what's happening, and there's not much mm-hmm. of what are we doing here or anything like that. Where where you just see that sequence that leads up to the, you know, where he's walking through the hospital and you just have all these cuts showing hospital things happening. And I don't know. I, I thought that whole sequence was really well done. So, so leading that, up to that, that first that, one, I thought I would agree it was pretty good. Uh, but then they tried yeah. to do the same thing again for the bank robbery scene, and I don't think it worked as well. It was no. more. We already boring. knew these guys, right? Yeah. And it actually like distracted me from like there was less of a start to the bank yeah. robbery scene. So when they were in the bank, I was like, are they casing the place right now, or are they robbing? Or are they it? actually doing the robbery? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it didn't seem well, to be like enough a of a point. start. To the scene, right, right? which right. I don't know if it's just my taste in movies or what, but I mean, it seems. No, but I mean, it seemed like there was more lead up and whatever to the failed robbery of the platinum place that they called off or whatever. Like, yeah, I don't know. So that, that seems like a good point. We just maybe maybe there's just a lot of some stuff edited out of there, but it did seem to kind of jump in. Now they're robbing the bank. Yeah. And it's like, oh, know. wait, they're, they're yeah. in there. OK, I thought they yeah, had yeah. more prep to do, but. Or at least yeah. like show them driving to the bank and more prep. It was just like, oh, they're in the bank. All right. No, they right. make it off like these guys are the best heist people in the world, right? Suck, like they know every dude. single <laughs> thing that you could ever think about ever. Have you ever robbed a bank before? No. Like, you know. You're running there with the gun. How many things have you been good at first try? Not many. Yeah, yeah the, you know? the actual running in there and robbing in the middle of the day um, seems like not the good idea. Especially in Los Angeles, downtown. Yeah. Are you nuts? Dude, You're out of your they mind. Have, they like, give themselves never what, a couple minutes, but that bank right. is chock full of people. Nobody's going in that bank within that period of time. They have nobody right, at right. the door. There's a huge right. window in front of the bank. Right, they don't right. look in and there like, and see the guy with the guns. They like, started, so you're they telling me it, there was some yeah. dude walking up to the bank that saw it and everyone on the ground. He's like, I'm good. I'm just going to go the other way now. Yeah. I'm not going to call anybody. <laughs> not going to oh, do wait, anything. What are we doing in here? Looking for quarters? Is it free quarter day? Hop on the ground. I don't really need money that much. I'm all right. I'm not going in. You know what? I'll just overdraft somewhere else. Fuck it. Yep. You know, I have a whole long list. And we'll <laughs> see how long you guys can humor me for it. A whole long list of, of, of how much in this they, movie. Of what you hate? Yes. And about how parts oh. of this movie don't make sense. And I know you don't, guys, don't like when I do that sometimes. I mean, but we're going to go through a little I know, bit. I, yeah. I don't mind it. I, I just don't. I just love that you took it so seriously. I didn't take I this did, movie. I did. It's a serious yet. movie. With an ounce. It is not a serious movie. It it's is trying a to be. Movie. This you movie see. was trying to be a serious movie, yes, but in it hindsight, it is a joke. Yeah, at least I, when I, it came and, out. I, and I watched it like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like. I enjoyed this because I didn't take it seriously. Well, I, I think you would have enjoyed it better because it, it is a very dark movie for what it is. It's not. These aren't about. Ha- this isn't about happy people. No, it's about um, dumb shit that never happens. Yes, yeah. well, none of this is realistic, true. and I mean, this is right. a very specific story about very but weird. That's what people, I mean. But... Like, why it's that? That's why, like, I didn't take it seriously because it's like yeah. this is so fantastical. Nobody's doing this in real that's life. Fair. You're out of your mind. Yeah. Oh, I know. And other thing I loved about this movie is just the fact that it's in the '90s. Like the fucking '90s were a hell of a time. Oh, man. what a weird like, time to make a, movies. What a Jesus. weird time to <laughs> be in. I love the car phone with the wire. Great. Yeah. Dude, I love Val Kilmer's uh, jeans with a pink shirt tucked in and the ponytail. Oh, oh my that God. was a good I look. Know. That was a good oh, look. Dude, that was a definite that 90s look with the ponytail. Hell of a look. Yeah. Hell of a look. Uh, he pulls oh, it Jesus. off, man. Gotta love Val Kilmer. Come yeah, on. Tommy Hilfiger show, uh, sold a lot of shirts back then yeah, like that. Yeah. You know? No, no, just tuck it in. Don't worry about the bottom. It's Thanks. people like Fuck Val it. Kilmer that ruined the 90s style. It's his fault. He's in like the big screen. You know, oh, with his freaking. Don't blame Val Kilmer for the 90s. 
<laughs> it's all <laughs> your fault, pal. It's, it's all, all, your, all fault. your fault. Pal. Fuck you. You ruined it. <laughs> One of the parts that annoyed me from the beginning is that all the audio, like they they showcase this, is like it was all recorded live. But I think the big problem there is they have, there's like white noise in every single one of the scenes. I had a hard time hearing what people were saying multiple times in the movie mm. just because the white noise was so loud. You mean like the noise surrounding them in, this, in the location? Just like the microphone like hiss, you know? from like oh, you a distant hiss? Ear. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, weird. Frequently. Yeah, yeah. That. Really? Wow. It was just like the microphone was really far away and they had to turn the volume up really loud to get anything in the input and it was picking up. Oh, right. So it wasn't standing out from the background. I wasn't hearing hiss though. That's weird. Maybe my speakers suck because I wasn't watching it in my, uh, in my room either. I was watching it on the, uh, in the living room. With the good the speakers? Stereo. Oh, no, with the stereo. shitty stereo. Okay. Yeah. So that pissed me off. But then the music was the worst. Worst part of the movie was the music. Uh, it was like soft it. funk the entire time. And it really, <laughs> so nineties. You know, so well, it was, was is that nineties? <laughs> From shitty movies that were blockbuster? Hell yeah. Yeah. And they would have like the same score going over multiple scenes. Like there'd be a scene between oh. two characters and they'd be talking. And then the and it would cut to a next scene and the music wouldn't even stop. Like it would just continue to like the next dialogue part with two completely different characters with a different mood. There was supposed to be a different mood, but the music is like flat and continuous and it just made the movie seem flat and like aimless. Hmm. Uh, sure. Happy. I'm happy, guys. Like I said at the beginning. <laughs> you just sound mad. I sound mad. I can't believe this is on the list. Uh, I'm jealous. You can't, I can't, are you I fucking can't, kidding me? I, I can, can believe definitely it. believe that this is on the list. All the shitty movies we've watched. Are you just mad because like an over-the-top film like The Rock isn't on here? Is there something that's really eating at you here? To, I don't think The Rock belongs in like, here either. But this movie, I'd rather okay. watch The Rock than this. And I think the yeah. only reason people like this movie is because of the 20-minute scene in the middle of a three-hour movie. Well, and you, you can then so throw the cast in there, whether they're good or not in there. But you have Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in one in the same film, and that that also sparks a lot of interest. De Niro isn't interesting at all in this movie. He seems like he's having a horrible time playing this role, or he plays it too seriously, or something. I don't mm. know. I had no fun watching him, and I usually love him in movies. Yeah, the cast is huge. I mean, what does John Voight do? He's extremely famous. He does nothing. He has weird <laughs> hair in this movie. That's all he does. All right. I kept doing when I'd see him is singing that Seinfeld thing with George. Where he's like. I can't hear the people talking. <laughs> yeah, I don't hear what they're saying. Just driving How high were you when you John watched this Voight's movie, TC? <laughs> I just kept saying, just driving around in John Voight's car. Every time he fucking, every time he was on uh, screen, I'd be sitting there just singing that little thing. Like, that's how not serious I God took damn this it. whole movie. I wish I was sitting next to you when I watched this movie. Oh, man, had I had a fun. blast watching this movie. I was yeah. making fun of it like a motherfucker. It was great. <laughs> I thought that was the point. That's the worst I part. I think that's great. I you were <laughs> far more you enjoyed this film far more than Denny or I did then. Yeah. 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 Well, I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. I was making fun of it, right? I was just I in, was enjoying myself watching the movie, I guess, is what it is. John, you don't sound like you were that negative. Uh no, you know, I, when this film when it came out, it was serious and people thought it was well done. And I, I thought the action was pretty riveting at the time when I saw it. And even this time I still think those action sequences are really well done. I like De Niro and I think he's playing somebody who is miserable and, and I think it shows. I knew someone was going to say that. It's like, well, he is yeah. miserable. And you're like, yeah, right. Man. You can play someone miserable. Who's still like good he's to watch. Bad miserable, not good miserable. He's not entertaining miserable. Yeah. He's boring miserable. He's boring not miserable. Problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well on the head. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, I thought the, again, the action sequences are really good. I, I think it's interesting. Some of the dynamics they're trying to portray. I, Al Pacino is just completely distracting. Though, I mean, his, his off, the way he just goes off, is just really, really strange. And I don't, I don't. Were you like laughing when eyes, it happened? No. Well, it's weird to watch him because his, his, speaking of like, his eyes are like dead and yet he does this. So he's not even like emoting this stuff. It's just like his mouth is just going off <laughs> all on its own. <laughs> and, and he's just sort of staring straight ahead or whatever as he's yelling. Yeah. And, he, and he got a facelift very, right before making this movie. Oh, really? Could, it could oh, have been a factor. That, that might explain some of the sort of woodenness of the rest of his face. Yeah. What Meanwhile, he's screaming. <laughs> um, it's just a very strange, it, it makes for a very strange situation where maybe it would have helped if the rest of his face sort of like went along with the mouth, but it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so that, it helps, that yeah. helps me understand why it, it seemed even particularly odd. So that was really strange. I mean, I, I like, I still like the coffee shop scene with him because he the, and De Niro because they were both playing it. Uh, he, Al Pacino wasn't. What if there was a wire? Anything. Al Pacino picked the spot. 
De Niro just tells him that he's a criminal. I mean, I thought that was pretty fucking stupid. I have to say, I, I'm with yeah. you. Yeah, it's yeah. supposedly it's based on a story that really happened. I don't buy it. And, I read and, that too. Why, the why would you not scene. just fuck? I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't get it either. And, I, and also the thing that the other thing that actually did bother me was the fact that they always get away from the cops. I don't know if you guys have been pursued by the cops. You're not getting away. <laughs> uh, it's just yeah. not going to happen. It doesn't happen. Uh, it, it's like, well, thing. he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not a, not a thing. Uh, they've got you dead to rights. As soon as they're on your case, you're Even fucked. like somebody pulls at the end where how Val Kimmer es- escapes. No, his license legit. Let him go. Bull he just looks shit like the guy. on that. Fuck yeah. you. I was like, I was actually pissed at that. I was like, no <laughs> fucking way. Uh, I think I had had a few beers at this time, and I'm like sitting in the living room screaming. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I, I, I think when you think about the plot points of the movie, it's, it all gets really silly. I, th- I think the... You know, um, e. when you think staying. about the plot, I mean, isn't that weird that yeah. we're now in when a mood you where you don't, the movie, when you think about the movie, it really <laughs> doesn't really hold up. It really up. is yeah. just kind of stupid. Yeah. But if you However, sit and just watch the action sequences, there's some really well done stuff. So there. Well, I mean, they definitely <laughs> I, yeah, put some money too. into it. I said yeah. that too, John. Yeah. But yeah that's like, that's like but half an hour in this three hour long movie. Less, I am saying it in a less grouchy old man way. So. Which is strange. <laughs> but really. I told you yeah, I was in a good out. mood, so it can't be grouchy. You say you're in a good mood, but you're, you're a grouchy old man in a good mood. So Look, I don't know. John, I'm in a fucking good mood, <laughs> I am okay? in a good mood. Fuck no, you. No, I'm, I'm pretending like I'm an actor in this movie. I look like I'm upset and not having a good time, but I tell you I love you, and you believe me, and you oh, run away. Right, even though right, yes. right, I murder right, a bunch right. of people. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I yeah. come back to yeah. you. I come back to you, I stay with you, and I wait in the car for you. You know. Yeah, I mean, look, it keeps you sharp on the edge. That's where you, you walk away be, from me. You know? I'm like, but Teddy, I was going to go with you to New Zealand because that's where the <sighs> criminals go. I feel bad for people who like, you know, died in the 90s because this is like the pinnacle of movies they get to have and they don't get to see movies after this. This is it. Oh, this was. <laughs> you got like the 90s sex scene, which is just <laughs> fucking terrible. Like, oh, I can't believe people one? used to watch sex scenes like that and then think, yeah, that's how sex happens. That's oh. all, that's all works. When I have sex, I just roll around. I roll around in circles I, I and then around, pause and then make the, eye contact. Up, yeah, that's what I do. I mean, honestly, dude, that sounds fucking fantastic. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's grumpy yeah. old man night. Yeah, roll, yeah, 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 roll, 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 roll around a little bit. All right, we better roll the other way. We're getting to the end of the bed. Edge of the bed. Oh, oh, oh okay. Shit. Other way. Go, other go way. left, 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 left. left. No, 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 no. <laughs> top, 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 top. top. Nope, bottom, bottom, bottom. Nope, nope. Right. I'm fuck. Shit. And right. pause. Eye contact. Eye contact. Eye contact. I gotta roll. All right, we're going again. Roll, 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 roll. <laughs> oh, we didn't even have sex. I'm just sweaty, though. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hop in the shower. You have a cigarette. Yeah, that's what happens after sex. I mean, it was the shower. You up for a roll? In the I mean, bed? if you're yeah, smart, you do hop in the shower. You know, aerobics were big in the '90s too, so that was they had leg warmers on. That's what they were doing. Yeah, yeah, just rolling around. And the the bedroom they were like just finished having sex in. Natalie Portman walks into it. Ooh. Oh yeah, you know, like they're done. She's in the bed. They didn't lock Hon- the door. Honestly, too, that character didn't have to be there. No, that's nope. the dumbest subplot. That could have happened. Well, it's just like, yeah, and she just they put her there just to kill herself at the end. Like that's what the her whole function was was to to then eventually kill herself or try to. And not even that brought anything together at the end. No, it just made it seem like the yeah, it made not yeah. (laughs) I I, I was trying to connect dots in my head, and that's what it sounds like when I'm trying to think. You know, yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Glimpse inside. (laughs) 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 It's kind of like. Like a bad reception in a radio station. Yeah, right, or, or right, you're right. Just, Sorry, you're breaking or up. Or you're just like, you're tuning through the stations on a, on a like a, just a radio and you're just getting little bits at a time. Sex. Exactly. Then fucking kill it herself, you know. <laughs> nice. She wasn't that good. She had like what? Couple scenes? One scene? Was I mean, when you compare her role to the one in the, what was that other one that we liked? Yeah, there you go. This is her second movie after that one. Oh, wow. I mean, it's not the same role. She didn't do I anything in this what one. It is. Yeah. She probably got paid similarly, though. <laughs> probably. Or her parents did, you know? right? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know well, how it works. Who knows? This is the most outrageous acting that we've seen in, on the list. Al Pacino's. I don't think we've seen anything crazier than this. Yeah, or is The Rock getting a uh, honorary spot on the list? Because that, uh, <laughs> that might count. <laughs> Well, yeah, if it, it wasn't on the list. I, I'm saying like, but it is. It's, it's Cajun. I think you're totally right. It is, this dude. Is, and and I liked it for that, except for the movie. It's just like 
Cage movies are at least fun and goofy on top of it, and this one's just yeah. dark and like unhappy. Well, and and I don't think Pacino. I don't think Pacino thinks he's being fun and goofy at all. I think he's being like a real serious character, you oh. know, like like he's really in character or something. I don't think he's being goofy. So to TC's point, I, I would agree with you, John. But now look, like thinking back to the commentary, there was the scene where he's in that junkyard talking to that. Uh, like the undercover. Oh, and he says, give me what you got. Yeah, and which goes, should normally you like knock got. the guy yeah. off the stool. If somebody just suddenly talked to me that way, I would fall over. So probably Michael Mann <laughs> had to leave the uh, the set during that part because he was laughing so hard at Pacino. See, that's what I mean. Like, even they knew it was fucking a joke. Come on. Yeah. Wait, is it meaning that he thought this was good? I, no, dude, he laughed laughing because it's ridiculous. I watched right. some of the commentary with Naomi and we're like, wait a minute. He thought it was funny, but then he left it in the movie? Hell what, yeah, what? he did because it's fucking it's not supposed to be serious. I don't think this movie was supposed to be as serious as you think it is. Yeah, that's so confusing. Yeah, I'm because so confused it, like, right like, now. If you take it literally, it is very dark and depressing. It, and if you believe, if you don't think about the plot again, but you, yeah, but you just watch what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, if you take the plot, you throw I'm it away. Trying, you know, if you, you know. just go with it, if you completely suspend, yeah. not just like a suspension <laughs> of disbelief, but suspension of every, I don't know. Any, any laws belief. of anything, storytelling you've yeah. ever learned. No, because I, I honestly think I can imagine the suits in a the room. They're like, dude, you know what we're going to do, right? We're just going to make a movie with Pacino and De Niro. They're both hot. It's going to be funny. Even yeah. if it's dark, it's still going to be good. We'll throw Val Kilmer in there. He's hot, too. It'll be good. <laughs> Everyone will do well. Nobody's going to give a fuck. Heard that Natalie Portman could be a good role, too, for supporting role. We could do a <laughs> subplot hey, there. She could kill herself. Hey, yeah, that's right. She could. She could. Hey, you yeah. know what? She could. It'll, it'll match the darkness. But at the same time, it's kind of a comedy, isn't it? Because we just let those two go on screen. He's going to do some stupid shit. It's going to be great. That sounds like a confusing ass meeting. I can't believe anybody would actually sit there and be like, this is an unbelievably serious movie. I think that's for the majority of the people. I, I think don't so. think that's how it could be. I think well, I think it is. I'm gonna really start I'm so confused right now. I'm honestly <laughs> I'm I'm at a loss because I don't know why he would leave that movie. in there. I really don't know why he would leave that in there if he thought because it was Because it played well with whatever was going on in I'm the I'm just tone. reading an article on Cinema Blend that, that talks about uh, why Al Pacino's acting was so over the top on heat. And he, Pacino was saying that he, he thought his character did cocaine. Yeah. Uh, the, the reality of that is, while Pacino was filming this movie, he was high on <laughs> cocaine. That, that's what I to thought the, the pain was on cocaine. It's weird. I had an eight ball delivered to my room every morning, but I don't know what the hell's going on. Come on, give it to me, baby. <laughs> you know, fucking, yeah, that guy's on coke. It, that's, it, that's a good I, I wanted to say this for a long time, just so you know where some of his behavior comes from. Oh, bullshit on that. Yeah, the behavior comes from the fact that Al Pacino is probably high on coke. The whole shoot. Method, dude. I don't know. It's method. Yeah, sure. Great. Sure. As long as the PA gets the eight ball, we're fine. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing coke, you don't just randomly, you, you don't act normal for a while and then randomly go nuts. You usually just sort of like are all nuts, right? I mean, I don't, that I don't know. Unless you're like, you doing? <laughs> Gary Busey or, know. you know, Nicolas Cage or, or Eddie Redmayne sometimes. I mean, you remember those shots from, uh, uh, what's it called, with the Johnny Depp playing Hunter Thompson, right? But they're yeah. in the they're in the fucking trailer and they're, they're spinning bottles of Shiva's Regal, like you know, like come on, that's what's going on in the fucking like in between the <laughs> the shots, right? These dudes are getting fucked up. Yeah, that's method. I can <laughs> totally method. see it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm doing this. Quote I'm unquote, doing this, I'm doing this for my craft. It's for yeah, research. Dude, fuck yeah, yeah, man, it's gonna be perfect. <laughs> you know what, I mean? what do you think? Would, would Vincent have done another line here, or or would he have waited? I, I don't I, know, man. But you should probably do another line. We got another eight ball on the way. The PA is uh, going uh, to get it. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. cool. Yeah, you, cool. Should, you shouldn't do this. It's really bad for you. But man, I I, I live for my career. I live for for being That's right in the moment. Yep. I've decided this guy's a cokehead too, just like my last character. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and the one before him. <laughs> and the one before and the one that I'm gonna play next. Yeah. And the one that's gonna be after that. They're all, all and, uh, Yeah, they're all cokeheads. It's so confusing it's watching like, you know, uh Dog Day Afternoon and then this movie. This is the same freaking yeah. guy. It doesn't seem like yeah. the same guy. Not because no. he's good in this, but because he's good no. at Dog Day Afternoon. No, no fucking Val Kilmer's over there beef, beefing up. He's like, dude, go, don't go stronger. Yeah, definitely go stronger. <laughs> definitely go stronger. Just it's all Val Kilmer's fault, dude. He's, 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 he's the one fucked up the nineties. He's ruined man. Hollywood. Yeah, he's ruined, no, he ruined the nineties. He's ruined Hollywood. And he's ruined. That's what he does. He ruins things. <laughs> hey, Val, right. I, I have a question for you, Val. Can you close your mouth entirely? Is that possible? Can you just close your lips? <laughs> Can you do that? No. Shit. All right. Sorry. No, no, no. I, cool. I, I find cool. I've been told cool. that I'm more attractive with my mouth open. See, 
That's yeah. this is how I look. See? Yeah. <laughs> you guys just talk like this. I don't understand yeah, your question. I, I've been told I have a very good <laughs> set of front teeth on the top, and if yeah. I can show yeah. them without even yeah. having to smile, it, it's good for me. Yeah. Good for my image. My favorite casting director said, play a blowfish. Yeah, blow I said, <laughs> okay, blow I could do that. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. All right, we're going to dub yeah. them, though, guys. We're going to dub it. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, you gotta get a new voice on that. Yeah, you gotta get a new an voice. awful lot of ADR here. Oh, I wonder what life. I wonder what Val Kilmer's face would look like without Pacino's voice dubbed underneath. It. Now that <laughs> would be something else. And then we take the narrow and we put in Nicolas Cage, and we do that fucking cafe scene. Oh I'm telling God. you. <laughs> oh, that would be great. Or even swap it, right? Like, fucking put Val Kilmer's voice on fucking Pacino. <laughs> do the fucking scene. At, now that would be on purpose uh, funny. Yeah. yeah, Jesus Christ, that could be good. I'd watch that for sure. And you have to have the voice of Val Kilmer go. Oh, I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, oh, I would have God. to be the fake Val know. Kilmer voice of him with his mouth yeah. open. <laughs> oh shit, man! But see, this is how stupid this movie <laughs> yeah. is. That's why it's so funny. I don't get how anyone could take it seriously. Yeah, a lot of people did. Made a lot no, of money. It, they, it was it was <sighs> taken as a serious film. It was a drama, a gritty, realistic, violent drama. I do for you. You don't do for me. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. Uh, so you want to talk about how bad robbers they were? They're supposed to be good robbers. They keep telling you they're good robbers. They're so shitty. Why aren't they good robbers? I think it's probably because right before they're about to murder some criminal looking people outside of a diner, they smash his head into the table, drag him outside into a very full parking lot, brightly lit, and are about to assassinate him without a silencer next, uh -huh. to, a high, next to a street. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. First, like, yeah. one of the first criminal things they do, and then the rest of the movie, I mean, that was just like, these guys are terrible, terrible criminals. Were they really just going to oh, kill yeah. them right there? Well, I mean, and let's then the rest be criminals are just... These guys are good. Yeah, yeah. They're good. Yeah, they're, 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 they're looking at us yeah. from up top. They're good. Good Good point, good point. Yeah, we got, we got to, we're going to kill this guy, so let's meet him in a diner. That and makes why sense. Not, why not, like, meet you him know? for the money drop, meet him somewhere deserted, you know, like, like the, the drive, drive in, the deserted driveway, and take him there. Yeah, let's go to a diner where I'll wear a suit. And you can wear in a suit, and we'll all wear like nice. And we'll things. look like the toughest, scariest sense. gangsters you've ever seen. Yeah, and I'll uh -huh. I'll rough uh -huh. you up in the middle of everybody. That diner's packed full of people. Yeah. and if they murdered somebody outside with a gunshot, it's like, all right, these three guys, everyone in here can identify them. They're worried about being identified, but they just identified themselves. They roughed them up, and we heard a gunshot, and this guy's missing. All right. Even the waitress remembered the fucking order. He's like, oh, he had pancakes, two toast, uh, three <laughs> eggs, and uh, then he bashed that guy's head in. I don't always tell you. <laughs> That'll be 1750. <laughs> That'll be 1750. We charge, we charge 250 for yeah. a table. Yeah. When, Look. when you put blood on it, that's standard charge. You know, thank you very much. You know, yeah. he fucked up the confectionery sugar. We uh, now need to buy new ones. Uh, let's, you need some help. You know, yeah, no, 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 no chance. I, I agree with you, Denny. There's no way that you'd meet at the diner. To do That's fair. No, the no. criminal work. I also didn't like how you know Robert De Niro's, or sorry, Al Pacino's wife or fucking girlfriend or whatever. All she did all the movie was complain about how he was like obsessed with his job, and all he did was right. like, "I told you at the beginning, uh, my job is my life." And she's like, "But why?" And she's like, "I love you," and I have no idea why they loved each other or why she didn't just dump him. Or because when she says "I love you," he leaves the room. She goes fucks the other guy. It's 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 just normal shit. Normal people. Uh, one, of the, one of the worst lines of dialogue was just like when she was describing why she fucked that guy. And she was just like, I'm stoned oh, and I'm on God, Prozac, I know, but I you know, make me fuck this guy to demean myself just so I can get close you with you. And I'm just like, wow. Oh, wow. They just, <laughs> they just turned an entire plot line right there. That's some exposition Well, and, right and let's be honest, too. That's when Hollywood had no fucking respect for women, too. So it's oh, almost, yeah. all, it almost makes sense at that time. Right? Bell Kilmer's like, girlfriend every, just like, you don't have enough money? Fuck you, I'm leaving. And uh, you're like, all right. I know. Uh, and all, all Natalie all. Portman's character did was cry when she couldn't find her hair ties. These are women. <laughs> <laughs> no, in in nineties movies when there was no respect for women. Yes, I gotta, exactly. Yes, I, agree, yeah, I agree. I agree. Hundred percent. Right. Right. Uh, right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And we get into that too much, anyways. But I I think that's a big problem with this movie too. Oh. Oh, there's so but many things wrong with this movie. That's yeah. why it's a comedy. I thought it was genre <laughs> comedy. I had no idea it was genre serious. No, yeah. Darwin. Buddy. Action. Dark. Dark. Realistic action thriller. TC. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn you. There's there's one scene in this movie that uh, doesn't stick out with any particular line, but he, when uh, Robert De Niro goes in and kind of confronts the Ashley Judd character, like uh, Val Kilmer's girlfriend, 
in the hotel room. It looks surprisingly like Charlize Theron. Yeah, she dude, does I, I thought, look like Charlize Theron. I thought Theron. that's who it was, like the first half of the movie. I did too. I'm yeah. glad you some. I didn't even look at any of that. I never do. Yeah, so I didn't no, know but, but it was like this is too long ago for. I mean, yeah, yeah. I was, was like, strange. wait a minute, Charlize Theron's more hot now than she was back in '95. How is that possible? <laughs> That's not a thing. Yeah, it can't oh, happen. Oh, it's it's Judd. Uh, it's Judd. Uh, it's Judd. Yeah. Copy. It's Judd. Uh, yeah, it's Judd. But yeah, he like busts into her hotel room, and there's just a line of empty coat racks. And when he like swipes at the coat racks to intimidate her, that scene seems like it's at a uh, noir type of movie or something where they're just like, Nah, see, ah, give me this flack. Ah, you date my friend here, okay? Or Is that I'll what throw you. I don't know. Is this good impression? Of- <laughs> I thought I thought Noah uh, I don't was know like, what you're doing there. <laughs> I never mind. A big plot point of this movie is that some random gangster hears the long-haired mangrove character use the word slick. Right? He hears him use oh, the word slick. He guy. knows right. it. But then when he's telling about this guy, he doesn't really connect the dots because he's not giving him enough information. But then the random gangster uses the word slick to describe the guy who uses the word slick to describe other guys. I know the word slick. <laughs> Do you understand what yeah. I'm saying and how that doesn't make any I mean, sense? Yeah. They yeah, just, uh, just, they just wanted to man. keep driving it into your head. Dude, they slick, just like, they slick, took a hot, slick. like they, they took a keyword and they're just like, if we just use the word slick, people will connect the fact that the word slick is the connection, but there's no way the random gangster would like pick up lingo from this random ass gangster guy while he's talking about him. Right. That's not how people talk. Right. Uh, yeah. And that's a big driving point of the plot of the movie. But we're right. forgetting about the plot, John. Sorry, I, I forgot we're forgetting about the yeah, plot of the movie. That's right. There's, let there's it go, no man. Plot. Let it go. Just ride with it, man. Just let it be, man. Yeah. Uh, enjoy life, grumpy. Uh, I mean, old honestly, man. my favorite part was when they <laughs> were happy. like, he's crossing Sentinella. And I'm like, I live near Sentinella. I live near there. No shit. They're near over by Sentinella. It yeah. was not near Sentinella, as far as I know. <laughs> Did you recognize any places while watching it? Oh, fuck yeah. All over the place. That must be kind of cool. No, not. <laughs> that sucks because like nope. there was one shot that Just was the place. same location. Well, you, that's not what you said for Big Lebowski when you were watching no, a movie no, I mean, that was like, actually those, good. But that's a fun movie though. Right. It's like these are cool places. This is just like hey, it's a normal place. It's LA. they have the same. They do shoot from the same spot. Like the there's like a hilltop you can look out over everything. They shot the scene here and also the Big Lebowski. Well, you mean like the fact you know like Bosch's house? I mean it's like Bosch's the Hollywood house? Hills. Oh, the hills? Okay. I, I don't know yeah, why that very much. There's so, only yeah. one. There's only one. There's one, one big hill. Really? Yeah, there's one big mountain that goes all the way from west to east until it dies down, and all the rich people live on that hill. Yeah, Walt Beverly Hills, Hollywood Hills. It but just it's keeps plural. It's not just away. Beverly Hill? No, because it's one big mountain. So there's there's hill. You know, I mean, sometimes there's probably a you know rolling hill a little bit as it goes up. <laughs> You know. Oh, John, don't be upset that I'm angry. All right, next one. There's a scene where there's don't, four don't guys. Don't hate me because I'm angry. There's four guys yeah. standing around deciding whether or not they're going to do the bank heist. It's Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Danny Torejo, and the guy with the tattoos on his arms with the shaved gray, Tom Sizemore. They're all standing around in cars deciding whether or not they're going to go on this bank heist, even though it's extra risky. Right, even time. though the cops are onto them and they're tracking yeah. their every move. And-, and De Niro's like, all right, Tom Sizemore, what do you think? And he's like, yeah, after a long, like thinking about it, he's like, yeah, I'll do it. Cause I love fucking doing this shit. And then Val Kramer is like, oh, I got to get more money for my lady. And then Danny yeah. Torejo is standing there and no one gives a shit. No one asks him if he's going to do it. He just gets no, like, he's the- definitely doing it. We all knew he was doing it. He says, uh, yeah, he says, no, I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. When he does he say that? To that effect. He says that. When? He does. He has, a, he has his moment. He doesn't have a moment Toward, there, yeah. dude. I watched he this movie twice in the past three days. He has a moment <laughs> there, I swear. Given. It's given. He knows he's no, going to no, be he there. Says, he says, else. I'll do it. I, you know, I'd do it. Something to that effect. I, I, I'm Poor quite Danny certain. Trejo. He doesn't even get his own little speech there. He's like, oh. No. He died no, I mean, you know, Danny. fucking yeah, Pacino's over him. He's like, don't worry. You will have machete someday. <laughs> don't and, worry. By the way, Henry Rollins. Yeah, I, how about is. Henry Rollins? I saw him and just burst out laughing. Yep. I was like, <laughs> "That's right, he wanted to be an actor." I forgot all about why, that. Why did he like have to call in the tip? Why not call the tip in anonymously for one thing? He's like, "I'm Henry Rollins. I got a tip for you here, criminal yeah, guys." I'm Henry Rollins. I, I can sing too. You know, if you got any other parts you hey want man, me to do? Hey man, if you got I'm, a casting like director available. that needs anybody, let me know. Yeah. You know. Oh, you can sing? Can I hear you sing? No, actually, ah, you can't. Well, I don't really <laughs> sing. I, I do a different thing. I <laughs> do a different thing. No, no, no. I'm different than the rest of them. I, it's, swear. I, I, call it, I call it musical poetry. It's kind of angry, too, usually. Pacino shoots 
Tom Sizemore when he's holding a kid. Yep, in the head. Yeah, it seems like a bad shot. idea. Yeah, but you know, you got your shot, you take it in an action movie like that. Uh-huh. That's right, John. You tell him. Okay. It shows it shows your skills as a good guy. It seems like he could have easily slipped on a banana peel and just shot up three more people by accident. Oh yeah, that, I yeah. mean, yeah. I think you'd get chewed out by the uh, the cops at that point from the, uh, the Yeah, but superiors. you're the best cop in the whole damn city, so you'll probably get away scot-free. Well, right, yeah, and I, right. if you were the boss of that guy and he comes in screaming, yelling at you, you'd be like, all right, dude, no worries. Just fucking don't do it again, maybe? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Terejo is left just alive enough so he can spit out the information that De Niro needs. Yep. Yep. So that he can go kill the guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hey, he kills, uh, you know, he's a bad crook, but he killed a serial killer, so he's got that going for him. Mm, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, why did the uh, uh, just for revenge? Why did the the boss guy go home? Right. Why? Why did he? I thought he was like staying in his office, and I thought he had bodyguards. Right. Why, why was all that not happening home. anymore? Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not know. like De Niro was gone or anything changed. Oh no. He well maybe you know Pacino was yelling that he was gone, and everybody in the city heard him yell that because <laughs> <laughs> it's that loud. Bye yeah. bye God. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> knew that he was gone. Yeah, yeah, that's good a good point. point. That's a yeah. very good point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, see, you got one, out. John. You got one. Hey, all right. I win. Thanks for clearing that up. <laughs> I win. <laughs> that's it. Game's it. over. That's how I, I usually win. play the game. So I guess that yeah. goes to you. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, two points, John. Yeah, why does all right? Two questions on this relationship part with Robert De Niro's girlfriend. First of all, when he comes home after that day, how does she know that it was him? She had no idea that he was a bank robber. Is he on like the the news or something? I don't know. I thought she said, I thought she figured it out by the news. Yeah. But I I guess what Denny's saying is why would the news like, you know, make her think that it was him? Because he didn't get filmed. I I mean, it was just uh, happening. The news wasn't there. Yeah. I, I don't, I just assumed she's somehow on TV saw it was exactly him. I thought oh, maybe okay. she just figured that but, maybe with what he said from previous oh, talks that like yeah, she just put it all together. Sense. Yeah, maybe. Eh, I don't know. But, you know, it's OK. You know, hey, people are, you know, nobody's perfect. Not even a bank robber. Some you know? people are mass killers. They have flaws. And that's OK. We can still go to New Zealand with them. <laughs> hey, look, the sex is good. We roll around left, right, yeah. top, bottom. It's, a, it's amazing. I wonder what right. it's like in the other hemisphere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I think you roll left instead of right. You spin clockwise <laughs> instead of counterclockwise. It's a whole awkward, just yeah. it's opposite day down in there. Yeah. Uh, there was only one Jameson in the entire hotel. That was lucky. Looking yeah. for Jameson. You order BLT. Oh, Jameson. Yeah, with the BLT. Yeah, it's just one room. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, How many floors fair. we got? Good I don't point. remember. Uh, that would have been that would have been a little embarrassing otherwise. <laughs> yep. Which Oops, Jameson sorry, do you want? Excuse me. Give me both of them. I, I forget his first name. They both yeah, ordered BLT. Yeah, that. And honestly, I I was you know not happy with that part of the movie. <laughs> I'm like, you're out of the, you're out of the way. You, you're done. You you done yeah. it. You lived. You you made it out. You got the girl. What right, is wrong it, with you? It's a comedy. You're supposed to end. This happy. is a comedy. Why are we going back to drama? Yeah, All you got to yeah. do is you know go to New Zealand. Yeah, remember when this movie was funny? You know, I'm like talking to nobody in the room, just talking Bobby, to myself. what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. Did it lose being funny? Dude, at the end, you must have laughed pretty hard at the end, TC. Oh, the stupid fucking, you know what I was- The hand holding? On was, the, was the god, no, was the goddamn fucking airplane lights, the airport oh. lights. Yeah. That whole yeah. scene. That was the dumbest shit going. And it lasted forever, and then- It did last forever. And then, like, Al Pacino puts himself out in the open for some reason where the lights are shining- and also, Robert De Niro gets the drop on him, but well, because, because Pacino still gets the lights to be there. But the, but little did Robert know that the lights would also cast his shadow, so shadow. now he could see him, and boom. <laughs> and plus, <laughs> and boom. I'm surprised he didn't That's say good. that. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> boom. He like speaks it as he shoots it. Yeah. Anyway, that's true, John. I mean, that's very well put. I saw his shadow. I swear. I thought the ending was kind of abrupt for how long this movie was. Yeah, that's true. That's well, true, I mean, actually. That's a good point, Denny. It kind of did just kind of fall off a cliff like, there. And he's dead. Yeah. And he wants to, what does he want? I thought when he put his hand out, he was like, oh, he wants to give him the gun. That's a bad idea. Just yeah. to like, so he can hold his gun like warriors, like holding their swords when they're dying in movies. <laughs> uh, oh, but he just wanted to hold was. his hands, make eye contact as he died. That's just, very just, nice. you know, I really respect you as an actor. He's not in the movie anymore. <laughs> you know, I love the fact that you don't have to scream and yell. I just wish I could do <laughs> yep. that. I wish I could do that. I, uh, I, I would love uh, to do that. But you know, your lines are not that. 
Uh, no, no, it's cool. I'm just having a one on one here no, with uh, I mean, I'd like to, Yeah, I'd like yeah. to emote with my eyes, but they can't move. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? <laughs> this guy, Robert De Niro, over here, he's got bullet wounds in his lungs and he's still talking and breathing normally over here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shit, like you could never get on the airport lot, too. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. I still don't know. I can't imagine there wasn't a fence somewhere. No, I mean, there was a guy running down the freaking tarmac with a gun in his hand, and one of the guys in those yeah. little scooters drove by and was like, like well, they must, they must belong here. I don't know how else they could have gotten in here. <laughs> yep, That's right. a gun. That's a gun. <laughs> I mean, it must be police. I don't know how yeah. else it would get here. Uh, I got some trivia on this one, guys. Not Dude. very much. Not very Give much. Give me all you got. Give me all you got. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> no, Jonathan. Hey, boy. You're getting good. <laughs> yeah. So like I said, I watched the commentary well on this movie. It was pretty hard to, to decipher some of the stories that Michael Mann was telling. He's not a very good storyteller. I actually rewound a couple of the oh, stories uh, he was really? telling. Oh, really? He wrote this. He wrote this, too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, he... Yeah, you don't say he's not a good storyteller? No. No. But he would describe things in ways that were very confusing. Like, there's trivia all over the internet and like other interviews he has where he talks about how he had no idea what the plot of this movie was. In the commentary, he says there's no, he didn't know what the plot of this movie was until he had the image of the last shot in his head. And after he had that shot in his head, the rest of the story created itself behind it. But then he went on after, I don't know when that commentary is recorded, but he said separately in interviews that the script was struggling. And then he had the idea for the end and that brought together the rest of the story. So okay. riveting. There's your mix up. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's things like they don't know. There's no definite answer on how many locations they shot at. This movie was shot all around Los Angeles in actual locations. And there's him saying that there was never a soundstage. There's trivia saying there's never a soundstage. There are scenes on the commentary where he mentions they had to go to a green screen to shoot certain things because the lighting in location wasn't working. So TC, is there a green screen without a soundstage? Is that possible? What do you mean? They say there's zero sound stages in this movie, but then he says there's green screen. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could shoot up, you could put a green screen somewhere, I guess, but highly unlikely. Would you do that? Doubt it. No. No, I, I, I don't, I don't find that to be truthful. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't think so either. So I don't know what to do with that one, but like, it's one of the bragging rights. It's like, oh, mainly yeah, we because to- you need the, the actual green screen to go into like a curvature at the bottom so that there's not like an obvious, Right, because like if your feet are at the ground, but the, the so the scenes they just, did it in were just like shoulders and up. They were like, uh, you know. so I conceivably that could work. Yes, but that so they, you think they like they're in, they have all their shit in a truck and they just have a rolled up green screen. They're like, all right, guys, if it doesn't work, we're just gonna yep. like put this up and then shoot against it here. Yep, that could work. Yeah, I could see that. Yep, uh, definitely. What did you think about the audio in this movie, TC? Generally. Uh, again, I was why like, apparently I was watching on shitty speakers because I didn't hear any hiss. Mm. But did so. you think like the uh, the gunshots were cool and like generally the audio was good? I thought that scene where they were outside at the bank shooting, fuck yeah, it sounded fucking real. It was recorded. They put microphones all over the place and recorded apparently everything live in this movie. Everything was recorded live, which was also big. So they were shooting blanks and just like recording shooting blanks. But that's great, though, because they put the mics in other places and that worldized it. So it's like bouncing off the wall. It's going over across the street and coming back. And they've right. got a mic on that, you know, and, they, and then they mix it all together. I mean, it's, you know, it's why sound, nobody gives a fuck about sound because everyone's like, oh, it's easy. You just do it, right? And nah, 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 nah. You got to fucking think about it. But nobody cares because sound's the lowest of the low, dirt, piece of shit. Fucking no one cares. Yeah. Until we're watching the movie and we're like, damn, that doesn't sound real. But these guys suck. <laughs> It seems it seemed like there was I'm a lot of ADR, at all. though. Otherwise, like like a lot of audio edited in, or I don't know. It seemed like there was uh, there was because there was a couple times I noticed where like the actor would be facing away and you right. hear stuff and you're like that was not in the shot right, when they recorded. Right. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Oh, really? sense of, yeah, 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 for like sure. That. I'm with maybe you on it was that from like John. another take and they just like shoved it in there because no, wasn't- it sounded like stuff that like they'd be walking away from camera and and they're just like saying things that didn't. Yeah, I don't know. It just. You couldn't even see their jaws moving from the side, and they were like saying some shit. So it was recorded after. Yeah, the fact, I noticed you think? that they. Yeah, because like they they had an edit, and they were like, you know what we should do is we should add in a line right here that would emphasize this. Since they're not looking, it won't seem as disjointed, but it'll still fill out the story in a way that we needed to go for the next edit. But I, I noticed that, that a lot, Jet John. Yeah. Actually, where they weren't looking at camera and they were saying lines, and every time I see that, it's fucking ADR. Uh, yeah. A couple of things I'll say about Michael Mann himself. 
He's like the only person I've ever heard in a commentary track that doesn't introduce himself first. He just started talking. It was very strange. Oh, huh. And you two won't get this, but for anyone who's a Rick and Morty fan and would also watch this commentary, he sounds exactly like the hamster person that reads his script to Morty on the Purge Planet episode of Rick and Morty. Huh. So. Wow, that's a deep reference. It is. And I, I yeah, saw that's my that new one, show right there. I, oh, it's a great, great show. Do you know have what you episode that is, it? John? Yeah, I know that episode. I'll have to go check out the hamster because I can't remember <laughs> what the hamster sounds like, though. Some of the action scenes, they were done in a pretty cool way. The truck they tipped over, the armored vehicle, was an actual vehicle they smashed into and tipped it over. And to get it to tip over, they had to weight the top of the truck. So that wasn't, like, done magically at all. They just set up a bunch of cameras and smashed into this truck and had it smashed into a bunch of cars. They brought all these cars to a shooting range and shot actual bullets at these cars. And then they plugged up the holes, painted over them, and put squibs in each one of the holes. So during the shooting, they just blow the squibs and expose the holes they made with actual bullets. Huh. There's a lot of bullet holes. A lot of bullet holes. The TV guy, first crime scene, the TV guy, the homeless guy, that guy was really a homeless guy. They found while doing location scouting. And (laughs) there was apparently like a restaurant that when they shut down, they left an extension cord out for this guy to go under this bridge and watch his television, which he had somehow. And they were scouting this location, and they saw the guy, and they somehow got a homeless guy to be in their movie. But that happens. I don't know if that would be possible anymore. I think Michael Mann might be stupid. That was one of the notes. He had some lines <laughs> like, there's a line in the movie where he's, someone says, like, he's a loner. And then Michael Mann was like, yeah, that's good. I wrote that line. It's good because it's a pun, because he's alone. This is why I don't watch commentary. I really don't want to hear any of these Hollywood idiots talk about how their craft is so cool. Yeah. It's fucking bunk. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's depressing. I agree. But you're making shit up all the way through. Like, their whole fucking shtick is such full of bullshit. I don't trust any of it. I'm sorry. No, yeah, anyway, I agree. what I think. Totally on your side on that one. It, it yeah. is. It's like, we ended up with this thing, so now I can go back and just make all this shit up of what I was thinking because it's actually what's in the movie and it all checks out because no one's going to question me because I'm really cool and I'm in Hollywood and blah, 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 Fuck off. <laughs> this, is a, this is a good one, TC. He said at one point, here in this part of the movie, he sees himself completely and sees himself not at all. How about you go get a job? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. God, I hate that shit. How can you even say I, that and just, you know, respect yourself? And, 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 and think that you're correct, right? I mean, it, do, it a, actually dude. doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Talk but. about your own circle jerk going yeah. on. I mean, unreal. Certainly didn't help with my, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It should have just been like, check out this scene. It was hilarious. This movie's stupid as hell. Check this out. Look at how dumb that is. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, right. Pacino's overacting. Right. Hilarious. Right. This is supposed right. to be a comedy. Yeah, we didn't plan any of this shit. I tried to tell him to do that. He didn't do it. But you see, you can't do that either, right? Because you got fucking NDAs. You got things you can't say. Right. These are people that worked for you. It's a fucking such a bunch of bullshit. Anyways, I'm Agreed. not jaded. I'm not angry. And I'm not upset. At uh, all. The last piece of trivia I have is that This movie was almost like kind of shut down because of the Unabomber. Because they were filming on location all the time. Oh, man. The days they had to shoot at LAX, which is where the airport scenes were, LAX was threatened by the Unabomber those days. He didn't explain how they got around it, but they pretty much just said, luckily, we still got to shoot there. We shot at Burbank. (laughs) Maybe, yeah. Yeah, honestly, that's probably what happened. Yeah, went to another airport is what we did. That's it, I got. That's all I got, guys. I can't believe it. Right. I can't believe this freaking movie is on this list. Oh, I can Debbie. totally believe this movie is on this list despair, with all man. the movies with I, that I hate on this goddamn list. <laughs> Throw this one in there because it's a fucking dime a dozen at this point. If it was two hours, it would have been better, but it was fucking three, three hours. Three fucking hours. I know. Ugh. Do we need to pick, go off list for a bit or something here? To, to, we, like, might, we might not want to waste it yet because as far as I know, I'm a huge fan of Chinatown, but... Knowing what I know now, knowing what has happened since I first watched it when I was, I was pretty young when I watched Chinatown. I might be more upset next week. We're going to find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. Will, the, will the, hit, like, the backstory of the movie make this movie unwatchable? Oh, okay. Uh-oh, John's worried. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, well, maybe we just, uh, DC and I won't read up on it unless you already know it, and then you can just let us know what it is after we've watched the movie and not minded it. I mean, you guys know what Polanski did. Well, we know that, yes. Well, yeah, we got that much down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all I need. Um, well, it's okay, because he's going to go to New Zealand, so. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, nice. yeah. It's all it's all sorted. Don't worry about it. Did he go down the elevator shaft? Who in Heat in Robert De Niro in this movie when he goes into the hotel? I'm like Polanski. Probably. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was another question I had in the movie. There's a scene where he goes up the elevator, puts the trash can in the elevator doors, and then pulls the fire alarm. Oh no, he he just he the elevator uh he didn't go down the shaft, he just put the can there to keep the elevator door open so he could still use it to get out of there. No, but the elevators go down when fire alarms go off. Yes, but if the door is jammed open, it won't go down. But it shows the elevator numbers as soon as he does that. The other go down. elevators. Not that oh, that's the elevator. other elevator? Those are the other elevators. Okay. That's dumb. Thanks, John. <laughs> Maybe I just suck hey, at watching welcome. movies now. Maybe that's what it is. Oh, God, dude, TC could do this, but not you and TC. Dude, TC God can't do it. He thought this was a goddamn comedy. I thought it was a comedy. <laughs> I, if I had, if like I was delivering this at work, I'd be like, genre I was in the right mm, tone comedy. of what this movie was going for. TC was in his fucking different book over here. Oh, yeah, I was having a blast. I was fucking dying laughing. I'm, I'm like, my roommates are cooking dinner and they're all laughing too. Like, we were having a blast. I'm like, you fucking seeing this garbage right now? Uh, <laughs> Would you put it in the top 250 comedies of all time, TC? <laughs> there you go. Fuck no. Oh, it's not even that good. Well, that's too bad. John, oh. how about you? No, I, I wouldn't. No. What do you think, Timmy? Any uh, thoughts? What did Timmy think, anyways? I think, uh, Bon voyage, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> All right. John, take it away. What? Can you do it? Can you do the end exit stuff better than me? Right. Probably yeah, can. we're done. We're gone. Bye bye. We got our horse. <laughs> we left town. Uh, now we're gone. Uh, See ya. Yeah, all right. Thank you for listening, everyone. Go to our website, mission250filmcast.com. Our list is frozen. We have a podcast. It's called Mission 250 Filmcast. We have a website, mission250filmcast.com. Let's go backwards. That's it. All right. Yeah, let's <laughs> Bye. go backwards. Next week, Chinatown. Next week, Yay. we're going to watch Beauty and the Beast from 1996. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we are. We're going, not going backwards. We're starting Next at the week, beginning. we're going to watch Shawshank over. Redemption. Yeah. And we're going to go... <laughs> So the other stuff, so we're going to meet in the middle. That's yeah. what we're going to do because we're sick of fucking this list. Uh, but yeah, next week, Chinatown, 1974, directed by Roman Polanski, a private detective hired to expose an adulterer finds himself caught up in a web of deceit, corruption, and murder. Jack Nicholson, Faye Dunaway. Horrible nose injury. Horrible nose injury? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is another one where they're sending the PA out for coke, right? Definitely. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Yeah, for sure. Hey, man, you want you want to make it, right? Just go fucking to my guy in fucking Hollywood. Just give him a little something. Come back. You're good. We'll hire you next time. I yes, promise. you will have a job. Uh, anything else, guys, this week? Oh. Yeah, cheer up, Denny. Cheer oh, up, I'm, Denny. I'm in a good mood. Guys, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Great See, mood. everybody, this is Denny's good mood. Yeah. You know? yes, this yeah. Is. Trust me. He's just trust the me. The good mood of a masochist. Yes. There you go. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck you. Yeah, I guess I got to learn how to hate on something while not sounding angry. Uh, I don't think that's possible. Yeah. Is it? No, you can, yeah, you can happy. No, dislike something, but still be happy. Know that it's, you know, it doesn't matter. That's what I am. Yeah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what's happening. I don't think that's possible. Not for me, anyway. <laughs> that is what's happening, John. That is, that is what's happening. Oh, oh well, <laughs> pardon me. I'm Al Pacino. I'm saying what my feelings are. Can't you tell this is how I feel? <laughs> no, Trust your face not yeah. moving. Your face is, is oh, not oh. moving. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm on the podcast. I, know, I yeah. only got your audio, but I can tell your face isn't moving. No, is it's top moving? of my face. It's, completely still, yeah. bottom face, dangling yeah. open. Oh, God, it's I'm okay. half Al, half Pacino. It's okay. Just don't close your mouth. It's going to be okay. <laughs> I mean, that's basically Val Kilmer. Yeah. Right? All right. Next week, guys. See ya. All right, guys. See ya. <laughs>